Yes, hello, a very warm welcome to all the viewers watching the box seat. Another big eight event program coming out of Belmont Park this Saturday and joining me to hopefully find all the winners. A warm welcome once again to Richie Bell. Uh, good afternoon, punters, and uh, good morning to you, Matthew. Yes, Richie, another big eight events coming out of Belmont on Saturday. Take a quick look at the weather. We're expecting possible showers with a chance of a thunderstorm of top of 19 degrees. The track going is a good three, penetrometer 6.2. The rail's in the six metre position, back in after they raced in the 18 metre position on Wednesday. So we're all set for a bumper program at Belmont Park on Saturday. Let's get straight into the preview. And race number one on the program is the Passengers Resource Centre handicap over the 2200 metre journey. Already the one scratching of number two, Corporate Sam. We're going to go back and have a look at the last start win of Chin Chin. This was last Saturday on the 15th of May. I thought he was perfectly ridden by Dan Stake. He proved far too good from Nil Rice Stream in the run to the line. Tackled though quickly by Brandy Lane. Like a scene, got a run, Chin Chin. He's running on down the outside. Followed by La Noir and Manila Ice Cream coming through in the middle, but Chin Chin reaches the lead. Chin Chin boots away past the 150 from Like a scene, Brandy Lane. It's all over. Chin Chin's coming away from them. And he had a quick look down to the near side. Eased up on Chin Chin. Chin Chin walked in. This was a fine performance by Chin Chin Chin, when you consider at the 700 metre mark, he slipped and nearly fell. He had a bumping jaw with another horse going around his outside. He uh, recovered his equilibrium, got to the outside and just toyed with him. Stake didn't even touch it with a whip. Uh, Manila Ice Cream was hard under the whip in second place and had every chance uh, coming through in between runners. And uh, to put a gap on that horse, I thought it was a great effort. Yeah, this horse is racing in uh, wonderful form, which he's won three of his past five. He's uh, really been a revelation for the Brett Wilkinson stable. Um, other runners in the race, it's not an overly strong race. Rich Pencars are in rich success. Uh, we're both terrible behind Chin Chin. They're OK. Mm. Uh, Calico Blue and Money Exchange, they're probably the next next best in, but I really think it's a great race for Chin Chin once again. Yeah, it does look that way. Rich success is probably involved in that bit of a battle up front. Telexton was very good last start behind a Pencarza. Covered ground and really battled on very soundly. You go to Money Exchange, uh, it should get a nice run from one. Looks uh, definite place getter here. And Calico Blue can't be ruled out. Uh, drawn out a little bit, it's going to have to go back uh, probably to the tail. Uh, it's got 57 with the claim for the informed Damien Lane. But it does look to be Chin Chin's race. And you can take a little bit of a form line uh, through La Sur Noir, who yep. was right on the heels of Calico Blue and Money Exchange mm -hmm. and in an unsuitable race for La Sur Noir. And last week, of course, Le Sunawa finished five or six lengths behind Chin Chin, and Chin Chin's dropping in weight here. Maybe that's a bit dangerous because Le Sunawa might have been a bit flat backing yep. up week to week, mm -hmm. but that's something you can go on. That's enough for me. I think Chin Chin's a good thing. Yeah, I think we're both agreeing. Rich race one, number four here, Chin Chin. Drops in weight, as you said. He looks very, very hard to beat in the opening event of the day. Well, race number two on the program. This is the Reed Resources Handicap over the 1,000 metres for the two-year-olds. Two replays two -year -olds to have a look at. We're going to go back. To Belmont on the 5th of May, this was the effort of Hot Tamale. Does defeat Painted. I thought it was a very good effort by the second place, Painted. But all honours with the winner, Hot Tamale. Fast Rock Special. Hot Tamale slipped away and coming to the 300, led by two. Magnificent Pairs beginning to pick up now. She's rallying and so's Painted for that matter. Hot Tamale leads the way from Magnificent Pair coming to the 100. It's Hot Tamale a length and a half. Painted Magnificent Pair closing now, but it's Hot Tamale clinging on desperately. And will... He's a real speed horse, uh, Hot Tamale. He was able to cross to the fence. I was surprised Magnificent Pair didn't push up underneath early on instead of being restrained that would have been his best chance of winning magnificent pair and hot tamale was able to amble to the front and that was the end of the penny section in the end as it turned out uh, painted ran really well sat six one off the fence got to the outside couldn't quite reel in the uh, the leader but it meets hot tamale a kilo better it's drawn inside of hot tamale there's probably enough speed to annoy hot tamale of course milan's thunder i know you're pretty keen on matt yes uh, it's in the race and uh, down to 51 and a half with the claim yeah, it's, I think this uh, Milan Sunday gets in really well. Rich, another horse that is likely to race somewhere near the speed. I'm not sure if it'll uh, attack the stable, mate. His number eight, Cleopatra's Party. We're going to go back and take a look at her debut performance. This was at Northam. She was beaten by a very smart horse here in Pago Rock. I thought she battled on extremely well in the run to the line. Then business of Angels going up near the middle. Next of all is Northerly Gale. And then Stormy Crown, who pulled out now to get around their heels. Down to the 300. And here on the outside, Pago Rock levels up quickly with Cleopatra's party. Draws about a half a length as he goes to work on Pago Rock. Pago Rock leads the way from Cleopatra's party. Then a gap of about three behind them, Stormy Crown. But the second fave for the day is going to come away and win decisively. On the line, Pago 
Rock. Yeah, nice run by Cleopatra's party. Bumped into the same horse that it bumped into in the trials in Pago Rock. Pago Rock was able to sit outside and uh, basically go past it pretty comfortably, but uh, she battled on pretty well and they beat the others by a fair way. Yeah, I thought it was a pretty good effort, Rich. I, I think that Pago Rock's going to make a very nice horse, mm. so that uh, the form could be there. Um, other runners in the race, Beach Express has been racing OK, Rich. And from the trials, Lost Opera, I thought it was a, a dominant win, scored by five and a half lengths in, in pretty quick time as well. Yeah, 56 and 24, Willie Piker maintains a ride on Lost Opera, and it could be definitely one to watch. Uh, it's had a couple of runs, so it didn't really set the, the track alight. It's got plenty of speed, though, and we've seen these horses come back from disappointing runs or average runs uh, before the summer, around about the summer, come back, improve with a gear change, and blow horses away. So maybe Lost Opera could be one of them. And Sweet Serenity is the other one yeah. that's uh, trialled quite well. It ran second to Plain Lucky uh, down the straight, 400 metres. It was pretty well untouched by Paul Harvey, but so was the, the winner. And the third horse was pretty well untouched as well. Yes. So it's hard to know what to make of it, but it's drawn one. Which way are you going in race two, Rich? I'm going to go with Painted. Right. I just think it might get the right run off a solid speed, sit in third or fourth spot. Hopefully it doesn't have to be scrubbed too much to sort of stay in touch with them. Uh, I thought each way it'd be pretty safe. I'm going to go number five here, Rich. I'm going to yeah. go Milan Sunder on an each way basis. I thought it was a, a dominant win at Northam. Very good time, 57.15. Clocked the last 633.89. Um, drops down to the 51.5 kilograms. I certainly think works in this son of Balestrini's favour. And for me, I'm going race two, number five, Milan Thunder, but found it a very good race. Big watch on number nine, Lost Opera. For sure. Yeah, I'll go with painted number three in race two.